I was gonna make this a mega short video, like super small, but turns out there's lots of cool information out there about cloudberry tea. I mean, who knew? Well, joke's on me. Apparently a lot of people out there have. So we're gonna talk about the benefits and history of cloudberry tea. Cloudberry tea has been made for thousands of years by indigenous peoples like the Sami of Scandinavia and the Yupik and Inupiat tribes in Alaska. Oh my God, I just realized I'm a horrible Alaskan for not knowing about this earlier. I am ashamed. This odd fruit loves cold, wet areas to grow. Cloudberry thrives in acidic soil and is found in altitudes up to 4,600 feet around bogs, swamps, and even tundra, which is one of the main reasons a lot of people probably don't know about cloudberry. Amongst other instrument, <laughs> other instrument, instrument, in interest, 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 other interest. Inst why is interesting not come out of my freaking mouth? Apparently I need to use a different word than interesting. That's not interesting. Because of its health properties. Yeah, that didn't work either. It's affectionately called Arctic Gold amongst other names because of its health properties. Traditionally, cloudberry tea was used mostly because of its digestive benefits. And yes, studies confirm that it can help gut bacteria from pathogens and improve a wealth of digestive issues. Best of all, it's incredibly good at overall gut health by enhancing digestion and nutrient absorption to make your system work at its very best. Hope the mic isn't being weird because I'm doing this. Did you know Cloudberry has appeared on the Finnish version of the two euro coin? Unless you're in Finland, you probably didn't know that. And it's also a part of the Rose family. Cloudberry is a good diuretic, which means it is prime time kidney time. Couldn't actually think of a good rhyme, which is why I said time twice and yeah. Which means it can help your urinary tract and prevent kidney diseases. Cloudberry tea is also good at detoxifying the liver by getting rid of any excess sat water and sat? My <laughs> words. Words today are just, what are they? I don't know what words are. I forgot completely. Cloudberry tea is also good at detoxifying the liver by getting rid of any excess salt, fat, and water. Cloudberries are loaded with vitamin C and have a decent amount of vitamin A, as well as all of these goodies, which makes it a pretty darn good free radical fighter and a moon booster. I want to say a moon today, that's what you get. These wonderful antioxidant biddies can even help with chronic diseases, viruses, and help slow the aging process just a little bit. The legend of the cloudberry. Brave Anya had heard the legends of the three golden berries, imbued with magic and protected by the formidable cloudberry guardian, and had to see them for herself. The elders warned her only the most worthy would be allowed to pass by the guardian, but Anya was not deterred and set out through the biting winds and cold of the mountain. With great hardship, Anya reached the top of the mountain and found a huge field of glorious cloudberries. In front of them, towering over her, loomed the guardian. Mustering her strength, Anya approached him and said, Hey, can I have one of those? The guardian replied stoically, True strength lies not in claiming, but protecting. And he pointed her towards a wilted, dwindling cloudberry bush. Anya took up the challenge, protecting the cloudberry from the elements. As it thrived under her care, the guardian approached her and said, Cool, 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 tight, tight, tight. Tell you what, here's a berry that can totally heal people. Enjoy. Anya descended the mountain, proud in her newfound knowledge that real strength is found in compassion and helping the vulnerable. Back to the benefits, baby. Cloudberries are also one of those rare fruits that have iron, omega-3, and omega-6 fatty acids. Therefore, it can help with anemia, balancing cholesterol levels, and reducing the strain on your cardiovascular system. The tocopherol in cloudberries can even help with your blood circulation. As it's a great immune booster with lots of awesome vitamins, cloudberry has been brewed up for millennia as a tea to help with coughs, colds, and flu. Ah yes, a great way to get through heavy rainy days like today. Did you also know? Cloudberry is not only a tea, but has also been used in traditional liquors in both Nordic countries and Quebec. I suppose all of Canada, but Quebec in particular. Yeah, there isn't really much research to back this one up. It's really more down to the fact that cloudberry tea has lots of magnesium, which makes it easier for the body to take in calcium to build up bone strength. So that counts, right? Kind of the same thing here with lack of research on skin health. Shocker! But the properties of cloudberry are well renowned for helping with skin sexiness or for helping with minor skin irritation, blemishes, burns, or cuts. Here's a few other things that cloudberry has been associated with. If you have any of these issues, then feel free to give cloudberry tea a try. 
To make cloudberry tea, you can put one or two teaspoons dried cloudberry into a cup of boiling water. However, some people say that if you really want to get the best benefits out of cloudberry tea, then you want to let it steep about 10 minutes. You also want to start with just one cup a day. I tend to have a big cup and uh, no more than three cups a day after that. Most people say it tastes like blackberry or uh, raspberry tea. Unfortunately, the one I'm having today is a laka tea, which is actually mixed in with hawthorn, which kind of really dilutes the taste of the cloudberry. So I'm getting a lot more just the earthiness of the hawthorn and you know, tasting more of that than I am the cloudberry. But if you're going to have it, they say it can be a bit tart, so you probably want to have it with some honey. I also don't have any honey in this, but like I said, hawthorn power killing the cloudberry. And apparently when you pick your cloudberries makes a big difference in the taste. If you want it sweet, pick the berries when they're orange. The redder they get, the more sour they are. Apparently it doesn't get as sour as gooseberries or other citrus fruits. Laka tea from Lapland. It's okay. Cloudberry isn't really known for causing allergic reactions, but if you already have problems with things like roses, strawberries, or raspberries, then you're probably going to need to avoid it. The main thing to watch out for is if you're already on medications it could react with, in particular, blood thinners. And if you already have a gastrointestinal tract disease, cloudberry probably won't sit well with you. Otherwise, sit back and enjoy a nice cup of cloudberry tea, if you can get your hands on one, because it's rather rare, unless you're up north, where it grows. Find out more about tasty Alaskan teas. That's your video right there. Please be kind. Take care of each other. Maybe ask one of your cool Alaskan or, uh, you know, Nordic friends if they can get some cloudberries for you.